Hometown Health is committed to keeping you up to date with the latest headlines that affect our health and well-being. Time now to check in with the Daily Commercial News and 90 anchor, Lori Davis-Farfaglia, with a look at some of those headlines. Lori? Thanks, Mark. Whoever said there's no such thing as a free lunch is not going to school in Lake County. In the coming year, the school district will be offering breakfasts and lunches at no charge to students regardless of household income. The free meals are a result of a federal program called the Community Eligibility Provision that allows schools serving predominantly low-income communities to offer breakfast and lunch to all students at no charge. The School Nutrition Association says that serving all students for free ensures children have access to healthy school meals every day and eliminates the stigma for those who rely on free school meals as a key source of nutrition. The new school year will also see added safety measures put in place even before the first school bell rings. Florida lawmakers have mandated a gun safety law that requires mental health crisis intervention training for our school resource officers across the state and an armed law officer or guardian at every public school by the start of the coming academic year. The requirement was part of a multi-pronged gun control package Governor Rick Scott signed in the wake of a mass shooting at a Parkland, Florida high school. Lake County School Board members voted to take part in the controversial Guardian program, saying it would not be feasible for local law enforcement agencies to quickly hire and train all the officers that are needed by the start of school. Livestream Behavioral Center is assisting with the specialized mental health crisis training aimed at teaching area resource officers how to deal with mentally ill individuals who threaten to harm themselves or others. Officers are being taught to recognize the signs of mental illness and speak quietly and calmly to de-escalate tense situations. And Florida Hospital Waterman Cancer Institute is being recognized for taking exceptional health and wellness measures on behalf of their employees. The Cancer Institute has just received the CEO Cancer Gold Standard Accreditation awarded by the CEO Roundtable on Cancer, a nonprofit organization founded by former President George H.W. Bush. The hospital was selected for this honor for taking action to reduce the risk and burden of cancer among their employees. This included prohibiting tobacco use and supporting tobacco cessation efforts, providing health insurance options that include detecting cancer at its earliest stages, and supporting the needs of cancer survivors in the workplace, to name a few. Back to you in the studio, Mark. Thanks so much, Lori. We'll be watching for you on the Daily Commercial News in 90 on Lake Sumter TV. For more information on all of these stories, just click the Hometown Health Headlines icon on our homepage at yourhometownhealth.com.